Alright folks, welcome back to Zork Grand Inquisitor. This is Mysterious JG. Broke my recording so I could make sure that it recorded correctly. Notice that it was under an hour, so one of those videos must have been a little short of half an hour. The last two I recorded. But at any rate, the important thing was that I made sure Canasta Cam Stu Cam Tastic Cam, whatever the hell the recording program I'm using is called Studio, is able to handle um, an hour. Because uh, I feel like playing the game some more. I don't feel like playing Lufia 2. I played like a solid almost 90 minutes of Lufia 2 like in the ancient treasure cave trying to do like a marathon run and I saved at the end of the video just one save and the whole thing and I found out that about 10 minutes worth of footage in there if you try to edit them in any way it causes the entire thing to crash and there doesn't appear to be any way around it. I might be able to fix it somehow but for right now I'm just kinda ticked. Anyway Where there would be fudge, but I do know where there's going to be hell. Maybe, maybe this is like a highly conservative Christian game, and they think that fudge packers have gone to hell because you know that's a sin in the eyes of the Lord, y'all. Oh, but I just realized something that we have to do. Um, Something that, well, I don't know when we have to do it. I just know it's something we need to get done eventually, so I might as well do it before we, uh... Well, you know what? Oh, crap. Actually, the most convenient place to do it is from here anyway. We've got to go back to the, uh... Oh. We just went to Monastery, didn't we? Well, it doesn't matter. The point is that we've got to get to the... Flood Control Dam number three subway station. And it doesn't have a teleporter, so we've got to go through the subway. And then we'll just take the subway back to Hades. It'll be great. This is probably technically a little faster than taking it from Hades. I think we skip one stop. Can I skip this? I think I can. Yep, I was able to skip those because they were considered cinematics. As you may recall... Maybe you don't. There was a souvenir Zork mid press. But we didn't have the Zork mid. Now we do. And we'll get a letter opener. Which I think I can probably need in hell, actually. A letter opener? What strange device is this? Kind of a smart ass jerk for some fat guy who was trying to kill himself throughout the uh, last hundred years. Shouldn't have done that. I guess I should have waited until we got on board or something. Oh, no, I uh, forgot to set our destination, Durhe. Yeah, that would be it. So. Uh, the red line goes through Hades. Of course it does. Of course it does. There we go. Now I can get on with Hades' quest through Hellfire and Brimstone, folks. And I can... Flat rate 2 Zorkmids. Credit 1 Zorkmid. I love the music. Some new electro funk song begins to play. <laughs> it's supposed to be hellish, like waiting room music or something, but I should find it. Your fun. sword's blowing blue. Let me try that again. Your sword's glowing blue. Six, six, six. Very cute. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Let's cut the crap, okay? You got this, Bob. You know the drill. You're the adventurer. I'm your Where basic, basic two-headed guardian of Hades-type creature. You're looking for treasure, mana, crystals, 
Red pages, blue pages, whatever. It's all the same, really. The point is, you want to get by. They always do. And we got to kill you. We always do. There's a little banter, a little slang, chop, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then I got to string your entrails all over the place and make a big mess. Do us both a favor. Beat it. That is, before we change our minds. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can die here a couple of different ways. These guys will kill you if you start messing around. Like all monster threats in this game, they're kind of comic relief and they joke and you give them inventory items to make fun of you for getting it wrong. But I believe you can get yourself killed. Let's try giving them something that makes no sense to give them. Oh, sure. Just dig into the old inventory. Something's gotta work. What are you, stupid? Oh, sure. Just dig into yep. the old inventory. Something's gotta work. What are you, stupid? Don't even start with a Sparky. Don't even start with a Sparky. Don't even start with a Sparky. You can just keep doing this all day. I thought they would kill you after a while. Don't even start with a Sparky. I guess not. Alright, stow that. Try to bribe him, maybe? Oh, sure! Yeah. Just dig it. That's not gonna do it. Uh, what do we got? Resrov, simplify instructions, turn purple things visible, cause creatures to grow, change shape to that of target creature. Yeah, try that. Hmm, now you look like us, which is an improvement, but you're still not getting by. Oh, that's an interesting look. Interesting like Jojo the Slime-Faced Boy is interesting. Oh, he takes us across for free. He must think that we work here. Oh, but it wears off after a while. Alright, I guess we gotta pay him this time, though. Either that or I could just, like, load the game, but whatever. We got an infinite number of coins, so let's just uh, pay Sharon for another ride across. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Thanks to you. In fact, uh, I've been playing around with the change your appearance that look like s the target creature spell. We've, uh, sort of hit upon the actual real solution to the puzzle, but... Let's try something else first. There's a punch clock behind him. Haven't you heard the word we've said? But you can't interact with it while he's standing there, so... Yeah, that does look like a punch clock to me. What else we got? We got separating the energy's magic, create a bridge over body of water, make the caster more attractive to others, and create the illusion of inclement weather. Oh, have we slimmed down? There's something sassy about us today. Sassy? What are we talking about? We look the same as always. We're a big, fat, ugly, two-headed monster. A big, fat, sassy two-headed monster. Yeah, that didn't really, you heard the word that didn't really help, and I don't understand that. It's supposed to make the caster more attractive. Somehow it made one of the heads more attractive than the other one, but... Whatever. Inclement Beaver. weather... Well... Beaver. Sorry. I'm trying to get a sink from here. Beaver. No. Didn't time it right. Not that that will help, I just wanted a nice, uh, beaver. What if we cast it over them? <laughs> like, we don't care that you made it sound like it's a raining adventurer. 
This is what we actually want to do, folks. We want to... Well, you know, you think about it. We've got what we need to solve the puzzle. It's not an inventory item. It's one of these spells. Pause it and think it over if you'd like. Because I'm going to give you the answer right now. We have to make ourselves look... Like... Sharon. You've transmogrified yourself into his clone. If you're gonna do something, do it fast. You won't stay like this very long. Which is your clue that this is the right thing to do. And what does he say? I am not impressed. <laughs> Taking your lunch break early, huh? Don't forget to punch out! Cerebus, Tantalus, Sisyphus, Charon, Hydrus, Herb, Minos, Titus. It's Titus! It's a uh, Eunice girlfriend, and also Herb. I like that. Hello! Brog like rocks. Mmm, rocks. Brog thinking about rocks. Brog thinking about rocks and how nice they are. Nice for his tummy. Hi, my name's Dal Boz. I'm the one in the lantern. The person who's carrying us around hasn't given us a name, so I just use Afghan cop. I find it fits he, she, or it pretty well. Brog and Brog. Uh-huh. I never would have figured that out. So how'd you end up in that totem, big guy? Got a graphical glitch here. Another totem should have appeared on that screen, but... Hopefully this will not prevent us from using it later, or we're totally screwed. We do need this to win the game. Nice cave. Cave, good place to hide. Oh, because all magical creatures are being hunted down and exterminated by the Inquisition, too. They're not very nice. I never would have expected it of uh, Rip Taylor to find out that he was like a genocidal maniac. Squish Brog in thing. Brog thing now. Brog sitting here long time. Being thing and thinking about rocks. Rocks. Yep. So, if he hadn't figured it out, and it is a little confusing. So he's over here somewhere. He's just not visible on the screen because of the graphics are glitchy. So, crap. Hopefully this still means we'll be able to use them, otherwise we've just blown the game. And we need some kind of magical spell before we can do anything with that. Surely there was something else we were supposed to get while we were in hell. Hmm. This is it. This is hell, folks. See? Look, golden, flamey stuff. I'd be annoyed if I have to hit a fact to find out what I'm missing. So the problem is that playing the game with the cursor moving like this makes it really quite difficult. Haven't you heard a word we've said? There is definitely a way to get him to kill you. I think maybe if you get the, the transmogrify spell to wear off while you're, he's talking to you. Or if you punch in wrong or something. I don't know, but now I'm like, gotta figure out what it is. Alright, so let's, uh. Alright, well, it looks like we're not going to be able to get killed by him. I forget exactly what happens, but I'm sure it was terribly amusing. Huh. 
So let's give him some money and get out of here. Once beyond the gate, no one returns from Hades. Oh. That's not good. Alright. So we're trapped in hell forever. Well, thanks for watching, folks. It's been... Okay. Well, we can get out of this. And the only thing I can think of to do is to disguise ourselves as him. Which we already did before when we were just messing around. Hmm. Now you look like us. Which is an improvement. But you're still not getting by. Get over there. Get over there. Damn you, Cursor. Damn you! It's seriously gonna cost me the game here, Cursor. Alright, so we have to disguise ourselves as that guy, and then we can get back across. I knew we weren't stuck in hell forever. But I'm not 100% sure what to do. Got the letter opener, we got this. Open and unlock your chain of doors, simplify instructions, turn purple things invisible, cause vegetation to grow. Huh. What are we missing here? How are we supposed to get this frickin' fudge? And that's what it is, folks. Somehow we missed the fudge. Yeah, I think we're missing something in the Dungeon Master's lair, but that's just my best guess. I actually am now a little bit stuck. I'm trying to think what it is that we didn't do. probably just something that we missed in this room here because of my cursor issues. Ah, there it is. Quite simple, really. Oh, that was for it's a not. chunk of fudge from the remains of Flatheadia Castle. Strictly contraband, but it's some darn good fudge. Alright, so that was a big thing that we were missing for this uh, cocoa recipe, although damned if I can remember what the cocoa recipe does for you. Wow, talk about deja vu. The last time I got a whiff of this stuff, I was working on a new spell. It had to do with time tunnels. It's it's too dangerous to jump through them normally, but... but um, That's right, that's right. It let you send spirit essences through time. When they come out on the other end, they're back in their bodies. It's called Yastard. Ah, there you go. Send spirit through time. Yastard. It won't work like that. You need to cast it on a totem while standing next to a time tunnel. Okay, well, we can do that. We've got a time tunnel right here, don't we? Yes, dude. Let's try casting it on this. It won't work like that. Okay, I guess I'm not on the right screen. Yes, dude. It won't work like that. You need to cast. All right. Well. Okay. Something else is still wrong. Uh, we should have a spell here. I'm thinking we missed a spell. Crap. Well, I didn't think there'd be any of this in this LP, but it looks like we're gonna have to go wandering around hunting for stuff because, although I've beaten the game, I seem to have forgotten the step. to get something out of this castle. Ah! 
We did have to get something out of the castle. Sorry, folks. Narwhal. There goes a narwhal. 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 That's it. Okay, now we're back on track. Sorry, folks. I had a little moment of panic there. I was like, alright, I know I've beaten this game, so what the hell am I forgetting? Now that I'm trying to record it and beat it efficiently. To be as different as possible from Let's Play the Space Bar. So this is it. You gotta do Narwhal first. Mogadil. Not Mogadil. Or Obadale, whatever that is. Narwhal. Then we can cast Gaster on Dragon. Let's see what this does. I happen to remember. Hey, that's the White House, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Before it was condemned. I happen to know that, uh. Up. Down. Up. Uh. With all due respect, I'm afraid that uh, my hyperneurotic tendencies sort of mandate a strict adherence to uh, state and federal law. Okay, so it's a letter for Hades. Down. So, is there anything useful that we can mail to Hades? The Glorf Scroll. Alright. So this is something. We can send the scroll to Hades. And then we'll be able to pick it up in Hades because you can't take items with you from the flashback directly. Now, what I don't remember is oh. Oh, sorry, pal. I can fly. I can complain, I can breathe fire. Okay, maybe I can't breathe fire, but I sure as Hades can't pull these boards off either. That's the reason why we have to use the other guy for this flashback. Each per each character has one flashback that they are meant to complete. And although you need the dragon or the third totem we haven't gotten to deal with the mailing of this spell, because the ogre guy won't do that, He's, he can't figure out how it works. Um... This is the Ogre Guy's quest, because he's the only one who can pull the door boards off the house and get it going. Alright, so, uh... What we're going to do is uh, we're going to return to the time tunnel. And we're going to try this again with the Ogre. But first, actually, I want to quick, I want to quick, fast, in a hurry, go to hell. See if that, that worked and we got that envelope. Because I'd hate to, like, think that I reset everything some screwy way by having the ogre attempt the quest and not be able to mail that thing, I would therefore screw it up and not be able to get it. So let's go retrieve that scroll, find out what it does. I'm sure it'll be incredibly useful. Believe it or not, folks, we're starting to close in on the end of this game. All the plot stuff with, with like actual actors, like Face Man and stuff, all of that kind of stuff happens. Uh, and the story set above ground, but most of the puzzle solving takes place underground. Yes, thank you, we know. One credit of one Zork mid. That was kind of funny the first time I saw it, but it's annoying when you have to go back and forth several times because you don't do the most efficient possible run of uh, your, your Hades journeys. Let's skip this, even though I love the funk. Yeah, big. You've got mail. Ah, an envelope. But how can we possibly open such a cleverly sealed device? Confound it. Yep, as ludicrous as this seems, you can't just open it, you gotta use this. Oh. 
which means you got to put it on the inventory ah, panel envelope. screen. But how can we possibly open such and a clever brilliant, absolutely brilliant? And we get Glorf, the final spell. That's the game's final spell, folks. So now that I think about it, I believe we needed to get we can't get the third totem until after we've got this. Hey, they just let us go right in this time. They don't even give a shit anymore. It's like, you know what? He's he basically bamboozled us. We don't care. Narwhile. Narwhile. So now this actually does need to be beaten by yes, the dragons. Right. So let's get the dragons one out of the way. Dragon Quest. He's the dragon. Oh, what an attractive little archipelago. <laughs> this is my idea of a vacation, a little fun, a little sun, and I don't have any more. So if we go here with the ogre or with the other uh, character... Hey, can we get they, a few drinks around here? They can't fly. So we have to hunt around for places he can fly to. Oh, uh, the kind with the little umbrellas? <laughs> He's, um, I don't know how else, how else to say it. He's hilariously Hebrew. It's supposed to be funny that he's, like, Jewish, I suppose. In that Billy Crystal kind of way. It's like, he's Jewish. It's funny. Nothing against Jewish people. Very funny Jewish comedians, but there's a tendency for people to just think, hey, write some dialogue in the sort of New York Jewish accent. It becomes funny. It takes more than that. That's back where we came from, so we'll go over here. No, that ends up bringing us back. I thought I was going to take it somewhere new. Have you guys figured out what this archipelago actually is yet? Oh, this is really annoying time to have this uh, messed up cursor. This is basically a hunt for where you can land a quest. And I keep thinking that I'm going to land on something different and end up landing on <sighs> the same place again and again and again. Come on. I know it's with the dragon you have to do this. You guys got to get any get any bright ideas? Shout them at the screen. I might be able to hear you through magic. Uh, or maybe it is from here that I have to do it. Maybe that other place is just a trap. No, that's not gonna help. did unless it caused them to start breathing differently and cut off something that was preventing us from proceeding from here. This is really suddenly really irritating. Ah, now we can go here. I don't know why we can now go here, but we can. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't really know what that is. I do, but only because I've played the game before. 
So let's fly along to what's clearly the face of a dragon. Let's try stuffing these things in the holes. That's not doing anything. We missed something over here. Or there's another place you can land. No. No, we're going all the way back. No. Here, ah. Well, that's an air pump. So let's pump some air. Okay, that's not really doing anything. Let's try going back over here. Going back to the head, putting them in the nostrils, and then inflating them from within the nostrils. That might do something. And again, it might not. Oh, 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 he wasn't supposed to know that yet. Hello? Hello? What's going on up there? Hey, check it out. It's time to save our game. This video is going to go a little long, but I think we're about to get the coconut of Quendor, folks. You know what? We better get the coconut of Quendor next time. Cause uh, who's a gold tooth? Oh come on! I mean, you gotta be a moron to perform an impromptu root canal on a sleeping dragon. It just isn't done. I mean, you just did. You buddy. know, that would make an excellent popping utensil. Uh, but, but I really don't want to make any dra dragons, you know, uncomfortable. That would be. Oh, I didn't mean to leave. Alright, let's go in. I was like, eh, I was gonna end the video, then I wasn't. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm indecisive at this point. That would be a coconut. Oh, yeah. The coconut of Quendor. Mmm. I was looking for that nut. Yeah, there's like a guy down there I needed her help, but okay, whatever. Actually, since you're there, Maybe you could help me out. I'm trying to make myself a pina colada down here and I'm running short on ingredients. So I need to run to the store to pick up a coconut. If I throw you a rope, could you tie it to one of the dragon's teeth so I could climb up? That's a rope, all right. Thanks, mate! Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna basically leave him here, aren't we? Seems kind of mean. I suppose we could try and help him. You ever been stuffed in a dragon's nose? This ain't funny, you sick seafaring bastard! Now, when you try to fly out with the coconut of Quendor, it just closes. The door, the, the mouth closes and you just sort of die. Never really could make much sense out of why. Hello but there. Yeah. But I'll show you real quick before we get out of this puzzle, because I think I'm just going to end this puzzle and then end the game. Hello there. Yeah. But we've got Hello? we've got the coconut in our inventory. I see no Did reason. You get the rope? See no reason we couldn't just leave. Hello. Well, I'm not gonna dwell on it, but that that was stupid. Okay, so you don't die. It's just uh. Hello there. 
Did you get the Hello? rope? Hello? Did you get the rope? Hello? What you actually have to do is... Oh, that's odd. If you start popping stuff... Hello there? Hello? Did you get the... Well, I'm not gonna dwell on it, but that... That was stupid. Oh. Yeah, apparently you're not supposed to... Hello there? Pop it until Hello? you've done something else first. Did you get the rope? Hello? And what you gotta do is put the Hello coconut there? of Quendor in the raft. Hello? So that the coconut of Quendor leaves. Did you get the rope? Hello? Oh. Stop talking. Oh, that's odd. Hello okay, there? Apparently not. You just put the coconut Hello of Quendor there? in there. Then do you pump it? Hello there? Hello? Did you get the rope? Hello? Oh. Oh, that's all. You managed to get out. So what was the rope for? Other than to draw your attention to the fact that there is teeth that exist. Well, if we can't find the coconut of Quendor, this was all for naught. And I don't really see where it ended up. I thought we were supposed to tie the thing down. Or I don't really know what that was supposed to happen. Except to say that we don't seem to have acquired the coconut of Gwyndor. <laughs> and now the video is starting to run dangerously long. Uh, this is one of the puzzles I didn't remember Hello that well because there? it didn't make much sense to me, the solution. Hello? I eventually got to it by just playing around with stuff, but I didn't think it made a lot of sense. Hello there? Hello? Did you get the rope? You know, that would Hello? make an excellent popping utensil. Uh, but, but, but I really don't want to make any dra dragons, you know, uncomfortable. That would be... Hello there? Hello? Hello there? Did you get the rope? Hello? Hello? Stop Did it. you get the rope? Okay, I, I understand that you're saying that. Hello? I'm almost positive that you don't oh, end up helping this guy. Hard. Oh wait, there was something we could interact with though. Yeah, we could tie this to Hello one. there. Hello. Did you get the rope? Hello? Oh. oh, that's odd. So now we've you know, tied it. My hyperactive superego is composed of complex neuroses, you know, that usually keep me from doing things like uh, Hey, my blows up must come down. That's called nature. Well, I'm not gonna dwell on it, but that that was stupid. So we just died somehow. I don't really understand this puzzle. Somebody can explain it to me. We popped that thing. Wait in Dragon's Mouth. I guess we were in there too long. The dragon slowly closes his mouth and dips his head back beneath the surface. No means of escape. You have no ch you have choice between drowning and taking an apartment in the wet, wet, wet Dragon Arms apartment with Sneffel. You take the partially furnished spare loft behind the uvula. Over the years, you find Sneffel to be a decent enough roommate. Much better, anyhow. This lob is down in the lower spleen whose dog won't stop barking. Yeah. Now I'm committed, so we just have to finish this freaking puzzle before I can end the video. But damn it, we've gone over. Hello there. Hello. Did you? Hello there. Hello. Did you get the rope? That's odd. Hello. Stop saying that. Oh. Oh, that's odd. Oh, hey, a close up must come down. That's called nature. Just... Hey, how convenient. We could put something there. Uh, uh, uh. I can't get out. Or I can't get out.
But does this mean that the coconut of Quendor has gotten out? Apparently not. Ah, oh, sorry about this one, folks. I'm just a little bit lost here. Don't have a good rec recollection of this puzzle because I kind of didn't think that the solution made much sense to me anyway. So I feel like we did something we should not have done. And I just crashed the game. Con Sarna, now we're at 40 minutes. Jeez. Oh, I committed though. I committed. I should have just ended it at 30 minutes. Should have ended it. What happens if I can't figure this damn thing out? Hello there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the rope. Hello. Hello there. Did you get the rope? Hello. Hello. Did you get the rope? Hello. doesn't involve him at all. The rope. I feel like the rope should be tied to this thing. Or the coconut. Hello there. But apparently I'm wrong about that. Hello? Did you get the rope? Hello there. Hello? Hello? Did you get the rope? Hello? Well on it, but that ah, shoot, I just don't remember what to do with this thing. I don't think you can pop that. I think you're supposed to pop the, uh... Right, let's try to restore the game without crashing it and fail. This is going to end up being a double-length video. Damn it. Because there's nothing special you're supposed to bring in with you. You can solve the puzzle with... Everything that you get while you're here. Hello? Did you get the rope? Hello? Oh. Oh, that's odd. You know, that would make an excellent popping utensil. Uh, but, but, but I really don't want to make any dra dragons, you know, uncomfortable. <laughs> Hello there? Hello? Did you get the rope? Hello? Maybe it's a red herring that you can tie it to the tooth. You can't tie it to the uvula, though. Well, I'm not going to dwell on it, but that... That was stupid. What if we put the Hello, coconut there. in the raft? We could put something there. Then we leave without popping anything. Then we go back up here. Aha. Hello there. Now this Hello? should work. Did you get the rope? Hello Shut there. Up. Yep, the tooth and helping that guy was in fact a red herring. Did you get the rope? If you try to help your fellow man, Hello? it costs you the coconut of Glendor. Got to be a heartless bastard. Well, that was easy. All we had to do was tickle a freaking dragon, fly into his mouth, 
Send the guy to his doom and shoot an inflatable sea captain out of his nose. <laughs> I wish everything in life was so simple. But the point is... Come to Papa, good point. you nut. Now a castle appears out of the water. Because this game makes a lot of sense. We go into the castle. This hey, is the purpose of nice the Nice joint. Uh, now let's just uh, stick this thingamabob in that thingamajigger and tango on out of here, okay? That's the real purpose of the castle. It shows up at the end of these little time travel quests so that you can put the items there. <laughs> Good work, kid. Thanks, old man. Old man, take a look at my life, my life, like you And then this appears. And at the end of this video, that came out to being almost double length, it seems like. When we get back to where we once belonged, we will now have the Coconut of Quendor in the castle. But we also have a video that went too long, and my apologies. When we come back, folks, we've got to use this sort of ogre dude in that other flashback that we've seen, where you go to, like, the White House, from which we mailed that letter. We'll play through that. We've also got a magical spell we haven't used to untie things. What do you think that might come in handy? Can you think of any place we haven't been able to access yet? Try to put it all together in your little brains. Use your gray matter there, folks. Because I'm going to use this opportunity to bow out. Thank you for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.